Yo, yo, what's up guys, this is Oxy and in this video I want to give you a full walkthrough of my new plugin Oxy Meteor. It's a spectral filtering plugin. Spectral in this case means it takes the input signal and transforms it from the time domain into the frequency domain, then applies its processing and then transforms back, which has some interesting properties that you can't really achieve otherwise. And this transform happens at a certain resolution of bands, which you can actually set up here. As you can already see, it samples this sign shape at like the resolution you set and basically what this is it's like a series of notch filters that is applied across the spectrum so the x-axis of this display is the frequency and the y-axis is just the scale of each band from zero to one so this is basically a filter but applied in the frequency domain you can kind of see how that works if you look at the spectrum analyzer at the bottom This frequency control right here changes how often the shape is applied across the spectrum. So if we set it to 5, we have exactly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sine cycles in here. Then we have these two LFOs which control various aspects of this filter. They both have this axis setting which is different for each of them. So for the Y LFO it's the Y axis, for the X LFO it's the X axis. So this moves up and down, this moves left and right, the cycles, the phase and the scale. They work the same for both of them. Scale is also here. You can sync it to the BPM at these bar settings or the fractions, but you can also unsync it and just set the rate in hertz directly. Then you also have the phase offset, like where the LFO will start. And the same for the stereo, so stereo phase offset. <laughs> And yeah, it has the same like basic shapes and it actually changes quite a bit how the filter works. Then another cool thing you can do is if you turn up this min value, you get like a really hard filter. And that becomes really cool if you use this release control up here, which smooths out the changes in the filter values. There's also a really cool technique where you use the noise shape. And if you have this kind of hard filtering going on, then also the band resolution becomes really interesting. We also have this low preserve thing, which makes the filter not affect the low end as much. Another important part of this is this vocode section right here, which is set to off right now. But as you can see, there's a bunch of modes that actually do quite some different things. So if you set it to self, it will take the input signal and multiply with it in real time, which creates like a envelope following kind of thing. And it also works with the filter at the same time. For example, if we take this preset. makes it so this sparkling water effect is reacting to the actual input values. Next we have this noise setting right here. We have this mono noise and the stereo noise. And this is really great for giving texture to your sounds and you can also use it as a reverb. If we just turn up this release. We can also really put that to the extreme, turning the mix way up and the release too. Like an atmospheric blur type of sound. This is also quite cool for drums. So for example, if we take this snare sound and put this snare tail preset on it. Or for example, this preset which also puts the filter into the equation. 
And another cool sound you can do with noise recording is whisperization on vocals. If you're familiar with Agrotech, the CyberGhost drawer, they've been doing this for ages, turning their vocals into like screamed whisper, like really aggressive sounding. Oxy Meteor. 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 And of course you can also use the noise to like texture your basses and synths. And of course there's also the external mode which lets you feed any signal into the recording path so you can do like your classic vocal harmonizing thing. Then another thing we can do is select the custom shape down here. Then we can draw our own shape. And this is the cyclic, so we can make it repeat itself. And it's just resampled for lower resolutions. So it stays kind of the same, but a bit different. One funny thing we can do here is actually drag an image onto it and it will pass it. Just creates a quite robotic sound. And of course you can still draw over this. So that was it for the video and if you want to check this out yourself, there's a free demo on the site below. So have fun and see you in the next one.